maker of Tinder, Hinge, sued. Let's be honest, we probably all knew that these companies don't want you to find love. They just want to make money out of you. Especially your app like Hinge. It says it's designed to be deleted, but I don't believe it at all. Because when you start using the app and it shows you people that you may or may not like, you get to choose and it shows the algorithm what you like and what you don't like. But after all of the effort showing what you like and what you don't like, you still end up with the complete opposite. And now and again, you might see someone that you're attracted to, but for the majority of the people that you see, they're people that you're not attracted to. If you're not careful, these dating apps will destroy you mentally and just make you feel really low about yourself. But I don't blame the app 100%. I also blame the people that come onto the apps as well. Because a lot of them will lie about their intentions or they're already in relationships or even married. I think these apps are okay in terms of it being a supplement to your dating, but it shouldn't be something that you're pouring everything into. But I know everybody's life and lifestyle is different, so you might be busy from work and you're not able to socialise as much as you want. So in that case, use these apps as a supplement, but don't pour too much into it. Take your time and do not rush anything. And eventually, if you're meant to meet someone online, then you will meet them. But if not, then you'll probably meet them in person. And if you feel like the apps are not working for you, take a little break here and there, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two. For relationship and mental health coaching, click the link in my bio.